What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. So, I got this week's comics. Just a handful, just four. But, I had some books in here that I really didn't think I would get. So, with that said, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and send me some likes. So, third book I have is Batman 131. It's another storyline of the continuation of the failsafe storyline. So at the end of that one, 130, failsafe sent Batman to a different universe or a different reality where Bruce Wayne doesn't exist or Batman didn't exist. So it was a good story. Now, I think everyone believed Batman is dead except for Tim Drake. And maybe Nightwing, but in this world you see Jim Gordon as a skeleton, and I think he's in um, Bruce Wayne's head, just his thoughts and memories and stuff like that. Yeah, and Two Face is the main bad guy, and he's on Bane, so so he's on steroids and stuff like that. So yeah, so far, good story. Then we have Dark Knight of Steel number nine. I can't believe this story is still going on. I thought it should have been done by now, but I guess not. But I am enjoying the story, and it turns out that the bad guys are shapeshifters. They're the um, white Martians. And Alfred was Martian Manhunter the whole time. I was saying to myself, I haven't seen no Martian Manhunters or any of those type of people. And bam, that's who started the war. So, yeah, still a good storyline, but I thought this thing had been done by now, this series. But I guess we can find out in a couple more months. And then we have Joe Fix-It number one. I was a big Joe Fix-It fan back in the day. I wish I would got his first um, appearance, but I had it. Then something happened to it. So, yeah. But this right here also has... um. Incredible, I probably say Incredible Hulk. Um, Spider Man in it, and you see Joe Fix to beat the crap out the kingpin. It was embarrassing. So yeah, five issue limited series. I'm gonna keep on, keeping on. And then we have Scarlet Witch number one. Now, the real reason why I got this book is because the first appearance of um, Darcy Lewis. And everyone know Darcy Lewis is from uh, Scarlet Witch and Thor movie. So it's actually from Th um, Thor movie and Scarlet Witch is on um, TV show. So that's the main reason why I bought this. And it turns out it was actually it was a good story. So yeah, so I'm going to continue with this. Maybe just his first arc just to see. Because in the end, Vivian... Vision showed up at the end of this book. And so I want to see what that storyline is. So, yeah. Because basically she has a door. Then when people at their last wits end or their last hope, it just opens up and they show up there. So, I'm liking this so far. But like I said, I'm going to give this to maybe first arc. And that's about it. I'm not a big Scarlet Witch fan. so, But... I'm going to say my f pick of the week will be Joe Fix It. All because I'm a Peter David fan, I'm a Fix It fan, Mr. Fix It fan, and the beatdown that Joe Fix It did to Kingpin, it was awesome and brilliant. So that's my pick of the week. So yeah. Nothing simple, straightforward, slugfest. Joe Fix It. All right. Until next time, peace. And I'll see you when I see you. Get that Joe Fix It. Very, very, very good book.